As Windows 7 moves a little bit closer to launch, pre-orders have started over in the UK, and there's a lot of excitement, excitement among early adopters. Apparently Amazon listed the item as sold out for a little while, and uh, Microsoft servers were actually unable to fulfill all the transactions that people were requesting, requiring them to buy more servers or fix the problem somehow. Anyway, they got things under control, but is this excitement over Windows 7 founded in reality, or is this more hype and excitement over nothing? Let's bring in a couple technology journalists to figure out what's going on. First off, we bring in Molly Wood from CNET. Molly Wood, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Also, we bring in John Biggs from CrunchGear. John, thanks for being with us as well. Howdy. So this is, we've seen Windows 7, you know, in person, release candidates been out for a while. Molly, what's your take? Do you think that Windows 7 has some uh, ground, or is it grounded in reality, or are people kind of a little bit overhyped about it? Well, I think there's no question that Windows 7 is going to be fine. I think it's actually going to turn out to be a pretty good operating system. You know, Vista had a lot of potential that wasn't realized because of poor implementation and a lot of bugs and just kind of beta behavior. So I think there's a good chance that Windows 7 will be a great operating system. To me, though, this excitement and this insane rush of pre-order speaks more to price than anything. And this should be a huge wake-up call to Microsoft that their actual stated pricing is ridiculous. It's absolutely ludicrous how much they expect people to pay for Windows 7. And the fact that you can pre-order it for as low as 50 bucks is what is making people go crazy for this OS. They should keep that pricing, if anything. That's a definitely a good point. John, what's your take? I mean, the pricing Molly brings up is a huge thing. It's a lot cheaper to pre-order and get the OS than it is going to be when it comes out. Uh, is there anything else you see that is kind of a uh, driving these pre-orders? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, they, uh, I think they did a great job in uh, seeding it beforehand. I mean, I think everybody and their dog basically downloaded Windows 7 and ran it for a short period there. Uh, I guess it all started happening maybe in January, just about. Uh, so a lot of people have already seen the uh, seen the software, and pricing fifty bucks for an operating system, especially on pre-order, is a great deal for a lot of people. Um, I don't think a lot of people actively go out and buy a packaged piece of operating system. <laughs> I think they wait for uh, I think they wait for it to come on a computer, yeah. uh, which is what a lot of OEMs are hoping. Uh, but I guess the early adopters see, oh, okay, we can get this without having to download it or do set, do anything uh, nefarious, especially with all the, uh, the activation problems that people have been having. Yeah, recently. definitely. Well, let's talk about the OS specifically. I mean, you know, you say people are waiting for it to come pre-installed. A lot of people looked at Vista and said, I want to downgrade to XP. Obviously, people aren't really going to be excited to downgrade to Vista. Um, but John, do you think, you know, with what you've used and what you've seen, is the actual OS worth being excited about? I think so. I think it was a little more stable than Vista and in, uh, in what we were working with. Uh, not a lot of visible UI tweaks. There are just a few little tricks that it plays now. Um, but I think people are a little more interested in what's going on behind the scenes, a little more stable OS. Uh, it almost feels like XP with a, with a Vista face. <laughs> it's very so, ironic that you know, we, we measure quality of operating system after an, you know, almost the better part of a decade old OS. I don't know, Molly, is there one specific thing that you're looking for in Windows 7 that you know, makes you kind of pause and take note? I think for me, it, it probably is the multimedia sharing. Like, I know that that's been kind of the, the thing that everyone's talking about, and that's their big trick and their big fancy, you know, kind of pull a rabbit out of the hat thing. But I, I actually, I think that's really important. I think that them recognizing networking and multi-computer households and the need for that sharing and, and for, you know, access on the road, I think it's, it's kind of a big step. And, and to be honest, I think it's, it's time for something new. I mean, I think if you have been on XP for the better part of a decade, you're you're more than ready. You know, it's interesting that people are buying the box version or pre-ordering the downloads because I think they're probably more than ready for a reinstall and didn't want to get Vista. Um, <laughs> and and honestly, I'm not going to lie. I am really looking forward to getting Vista off of my Dell laptop. That's definitely true. Pronto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any parting shots, John? Anything, you know, do you think there's anything that consumers might not know about Windows 7 where you, you know, maybe they should... The, you know, there's think, a takeaway? I think one of the interesting things is for uh, IT folks, I mean, basically it has XP mode built in. So you can actually run, uh, you can run your applications in XP under Windows 7, which is sort of like, I don't know, I guess it used to be Rosetta for OS X. It's yeah. sort of like we slowly wean you off of XP by giving you the opportunity to run your applications natively in Windows 7. And I think that's really important for big guys. So somebody like a UBS or a Lehman Brothers. Yeah. I don't know if they're still around. <laughs> Post bank bailout, uh, it's hard to know which big companies are actually still around. But regardless, that's definitely uh, a good point. Those, 
those guys, if they have any cash left, they might want to invest in, uh, in an upgrade, which they haven't done in the past yeah. 10 years, as you said. Definitely. Well, guys, we're going to leave it there. Uh, you know, all good points are all around. I think we're all safely excited for Windows 7 be just because at least it's better than Vista. Molly Wood. Consciously optimistic, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Molly Wood from CNET, thanks for joining us. Also, thanks for John Biggs for being with us as well. I'm Randall Bennett, and we'll see you next time on Tech. If you don't forget to subscribe to us, we're on iTunes, we're on YouTube, and we're pretty much everywhere, so you should be able to find us somewhere. We'll see you later.